Okay, so not indeed. We are here talking about finding the first uh, n terms of the given n term. <clears throat> Meaning you have to find the least of five terms of the given n term. For example, you have a sub n equals n plus 4. Then we, are we have to look, we have to find five terms. So meaning you need to look for the a sub 1. Okay, we need to look for a sub 2. And another we have to look for a sub 3. And we have to find also a sub 4 and a sub 5. So those are the terms that we need to find based from this enter. Okay, let us start. For, for us to find the value of a sub 1, we need to let n equals 1. Okay, we need, we need to let n equals 1. That is the first term. So for example, you have if n is equal to 1, then you have a sub 1. Okay, so replace n by 1. Okay, so this will become, replace n by 1, this will become 1 plus 4. Then you have a sub 1 is 5. That is the first term. Another, for a sub 2, let us have n is equal to 2. Then replace n by 2, so this will become 2 plus 4. So you have a sub 2 is 6. Okay, next. For a sub 3, you have uh, replace, this will become n is equal to 3, then you have replace n by 3. So this will become 3 plus 4, so a sub 3 is 7. Okay, next, we have a sub 4, so we have here, here n is equal to 4, then replace n by 4, so this will become 4 plus 4. And a sub 4 is a. Another, the fifth term, so we have n is equal to 5. Then replace n by 5. This will become 5. So 5 plus 4. So a sub 5 is 9. In other words, the next five terms of the given n term is or are, you have 5. 6, 7, 8, 9. So as you can see, it is an arithmetic sequence because there is a common term or common number or a constant number, 1. Okay? So that's how you solve or that's how you find the next uh, n, n terms of the given n term.